The 14th Amendment guarantees criminal defendants the right to due process. In Frank v. Magnum, the Supreme Court recognized that mob interference in a state criminal trial deprived a defendant of due process, but held that a state could cure the violation by allowing the defendant to appeal the conviction. The ruling's practical effect was to block defendants from seeking federal habeas relief, instead consigning them to the state court system. In Moore v. Dempsey, the court reconsidered the issue. In September 1919, a group of black tenant farmers gathered at a church in rural Phillips County, Arkansas, for a meeting of the Progressive Farmers and Household Union. During the meeting, armed white men invaded the church, and the two groups exchanged fire. A white man was killed, and rumors of a black insurrection began to spread. For the next several days, white mobs roamed the county, attacking black people on sight. An estimated 200 black residents were killed, along with Clinton Lee and four other white men. A committee appointed by the governor to investigate the killings concluded that Lee was murdered as part of an insurrection organized by black residents for the purpose of killing white people. Frank Moore and four other black men were arrested for Lee's murder. A mob marched to the local jail to lynch the men, but stopped after committee members promised them that the law would be carried out and anyone convicted would be executed. The committee allegedly whipped and tortured black witnesses to coerce their testimony against the defendants. During the defendants' 45-minute trial, a hostile white crowd gathered in the courtroom and in the surrounding neighborhood. The defendants' appointed attorney failed to meet with them before trial, challenge the all-white jury, request a change of venue, or call any witnesses. The jury deliberated for eight minutes before convicting all five men. While the defendant's appeal to the Arkansas Supreme Court was pending, committee members and community groups urged the governor to promptly execute them. There was also widespread threats to lynch another group of black men who were awaiting trial if the defendants weren't executed. The court affirmed the convictions, and the defendants filed a federal habeas petition. After the district court summarily dismissed the petition, the United States Supreme Court granted cert. 